Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How you doing? Hope you're doing good this week. So, um, yes, give a thumbs up to my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my video. I would appreciate that. If you like the vibe, if you like what you hear, if it resonates to you, however it is, I would appreciate it. Um, let's see what's going on here with my Sagittarius. Light in progress for my spiritual guidance as my protectors and my deities that are here. I appreciate you very much. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. What is the overall energy of Sagittarius in their person, please? What happened here in Sagittarius in your home? What's going on? What's the worry? Why are you praying so much? Why are you worrying so much? Oh my God. The King of Swords in reverse. Somebody gave up here. I feel like something happened here in a home. It could have been, you know, a separation. Um a fallout it could have been you know something with family it could have been something but i'm picking up like somebody fell out you might have been living together you might have not been living together it doesn't matter you might have been a commitment or in a marriage take out hits you okay but i feel like you gave up you know and sad i feel like you gave up on something here and you're praying, you're worried about what's going on in your home. You might be having difficulties with money. You might be having difficulties with a person. You feel me? But I see light coming into your home for some reason. I feel like things are going to be okay. I don't feel like things are going to go so bad like you think they are. You feel me? Like, you know... I don't feel like anything bad is going to happen. I feel like you're worrying more than what you should be. You feel me? Or well, this could be the past that's coming out, you know? But I feel like something is going to shine to you. Hold on a minute. What else for Sag here, please? You're very worried, Sagittarius. You're very worried. I feel like it might have been with your person that something happened in your home. I feel like you're missing somebody. I feel like you want this person back, but I feel like this person and you just fell out. Something happened here and you gave up on it. Like, you gave up. You're worrying too much. I mean, you're stuck there. Like, not even seeing the light that's shining on you, Sagittarius. You must you might you might just have left somebody or I feel like somebody just walked out or something. I don't know. I'm picking up like it's both parties that this happened with both people. But more on your side, you feel me? Like you're very worried, Sagittarius, and there's light coming in, there's blessings coming in. There's good things coming your way. But at the end of the day I feel like uh, this person was not putting any effort into this for some reason. They were not seeing what they had in front of their face, which was you. Or you could flip this. This could be the cross watcher. This doesn't have to be Sagittarius. Remember, people it could be Sag that I'm talking to, the cross watcher, even a third party I'm picking up on. But I'm seeing a lot of pain, a lot of worrying, a lot of hurt, a lot of like, you know, don't know what to do. It could have been a problem in your home. And with that problem in your home, it just built up so much, you know, stress and things that were going on in the home that it probably caused a problem in your relationship is what I'm picking up. Hold on a minute. What else for Sagittarius, Peter, and this person? You've been carrying too many burdens in your back. 
you've been carrying too many burdens in your back. I feel like you're done, Sagittarius. Whatever happened here with this relationship, if it was the past or the present, I feel like you're done. And I feel like it has you worrying and it has you like in an emotional state where, you know, you're crying and you're, you know, a lot of worrying. Like, I feel like you don't know what to do. I feel like you just can't believe this happened for some reason. I feel like every burden was on you. Everything was on you. And this person was just, you know, not doing anything to make this work, even in the household. Or if you were not committed in a household, it doesn't matter. You feel me? Like, separate households is the same thing. I feel like this person would put everything on you and only you. This is your card, Sagittarius, the Ten of Swords. I mean, the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person is also worrying and... I feel like this person was focusing more on other things than you. You feel me? And you stopped fighting for this connection. You stopped fighting for it, but it still hurts you. There could have been a couple here that was committed in a home, married or not married, that um, is falling apart or, is, or just fell apart. Okay? For the most part, I see something coming in good for you. Like, you're stressing too much. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're stressing too much. There's something coming in here. Maybe you and this person are going to get back together. Maybe, you know, you're coming into, you know, a reunion with friends and family that make you feel better. You know, something is going to enlighten you. You feel me? Like, to get all this worry off your back, all these burdens off your back, all this thinking that you're doing, all this overthinking that you're doing. Like, over, you're overthinking yourself, and that's not healthy for you. But like I said, I see light coming. And there is, you know, the three of cups here. It's a reunion of some kind. It's people getting together. You feel me? But I'm also picking up, like, masks dropped. Like, this person's true colors came out. And you might have, like, you know, found out. And somebody here that's committed or somebody here that was married or is married is they're getting divorced is what I'm picking up. Or just, you know, the home is broken. That's it. One way, you go one way and the other person goes the other way. But I feel like somebody's true colors came out here. I don't know who it is. But somebody's true colors came out here. And it was, like, so shocking that it put you in a state of so much emotions running through your head. But overthinking too much. You can't overthink too much the situation that's going on. You could think, but don't overthink yourself because it's going to take you to a bad place. I feel like there's a lot of depression here. A lot of like laying down and like getting up, not wanting to do things. Just sitting there, wondering all day long and overthinking. I feel like you don't want to do anything. You just want to lay down and fuck the world is what I'm hearing. Like fuck everything. I'm not doing this again is what I'm hearing. Hold on. I'm trying to give the cards a chance here. Because she's already telling me something that I just... Hold on. What else for um, Sagittarius here? Listen, whoever here, you know, was in a commitment or was doing, you know, was together with somebody, rushed out of this relationship, something happened here. And I feel like somebody found out something about this person, maybe juggling or well, this person was paying more attention to other people than you, you feel me? And it's like, you were done with it. Like, you're tired of fighting. You're tired of, like, you know, putting your foot down. You got tired of it. Because this person was putting more attention to others than you. You know, you feel me? It could have been family. It could have been friends. It could have been other people. You feel me? It could have been another person. You feel me? And you got tired and it's fuck this shit, you feel me? And you walked out of this situation. I feel like somebody was busted here, to tell you the truth. Juggling. I'm not even going to lie. Somebody was busted here cheating. This could have been a past situation. But somebody could be currently going through this, you feel me? And you rushed out of there. You just got the fuck out of there, you feel me? 
You don't want to put up with this no more. And I feel you because shit, like, come on. Like, but you cannot carry so many burdens in your back. Like, the person that did this, you know, whatever this person did to you that made you feel so much, you know, emotions and, you know, so much burdens and so much, like, fuckery. And then you're going to add more fuckery to it by putting yourself in a state of mind, like, overthinking yourself and putting more emotion and thinking about everything you need to get up. Because I feel like some of you are just laying there, sitting there, not wanting to do anything. You feel me? Like, just overthinking the situation. There's no overthinking the situation. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I got to say it like that. You feel me? But you can't sit there and not do nothing. You got to get up and do things for yourself. And I ain't even going to lie. Somebody here got involved and destroyed this relationship. I'm not going to lie. Somebody here is personally doing voodoo to you, Sagittarius. To somebody here. I can't show you quote shit on my channel. I can't show you quote what my ancestor or my DD Ochun is pulling out here. And I didn't want to say it, but fuck it. Like, it is what it is. Somebody here. Not only to you and your person. The thing is that somebody here did some type of voodoo on you, Sag. And when voodoo comes in, it destroys the home. It destroys relationships. It destroys families. It destroys everything. It starts destroying everything around you. Your money. Your car won't start. It'll start breaking down. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> you start getting, like, money losses everywhere. You know, you get fired from work or you start having problems at work. You feel me? Like, things, chaos starts happening in your house with anybody, you know? Even your family, your loved ones. Everything, every, everybody starts fighting. Like, this is what voodoo does to people. If you're in a relationship, it'll just start going chaos. And everybody, you know, starts breaking up. It's because there's a there's voodoo done. And what voodoo is, is a, a black entity, a black spirit sent to you. Like a dark spirit. And that dark spirit, whatever it's set for, it's set for an intention. It's set for a reason. Okay, you know what? I'm doing this shit to this person, which is some fuckery because I don't condone that. To fuck up their finances. But when that spirit comes in, that dark spirit comes in to fuck up your finances, <clears throat> that spirit does not understand only fucking up your finances. It will fuck up everything around you because it is a bad spirit, a bad entity. And that's what it does. It gets rewarded by the person that sent it. The person that sent it will give it something. And when it finishes destroying the person, it will get, that person that sent that voodoo to you will reward that spirit with something else. You feel me? That's how it works for people that don't understand this. Voodoo does exist. And there's a lot of people here and since way back before the 70s doing voodoo all day long to people just for the fuck of it. But Sagittarius, somebody here did something to you and it destroyed your whole shit. But in the other case, there's Sagittarius is here, which is two energies that something ha happened with your person, mass fell down, colors came out, and I feel like you busted your person doing something, you know? They were paying more attention to other people, friends, you know, family, acquaintances. It could have been social media. It could have been, you know, the party life. It could have been whatever or another person, like I'm saying. And you got tired of it. And, you know, you got the fuck out of there and fuck this shit. I ain't doing this shit again, like I said. But some side is here. You got boot on your ass. I'm telling you right now. And you won't know if you do. Because things start changing and things start happening, you feel me? And I hate this fuckery because I hate when voodoo starts coming out. And trust me when I tell you, whoever comes in and says that voodoo doesn't exist, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Because voodoo does exist. I've seen it all my life. You feel me? I break voodoo spells. I heal people. That's what I do. I know how to do voodoo. Bad voodoo, but I don't do it. The voodoo that I do is good. To help people to break all this fuck me that comes into a person because it will destroy a person. I've seen people lose their lives over voodoo. You feel me? Like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, it destroyed somebody's home here. What else for Sagittarius? I don't like this. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of fear here, anxiety, like, darkness, like, 
confusion like you don't know what to do you don't know what's happening you're confused it's like so much um anxiety like it's you're one day feeling some way and you're one day feeling the other you're one day weak you're one day strong you one day want to pick up and go you one day just want to lay there i mean some people will call it bipolar you feel me yes that could be a case of a person having bipolar and you know certain mental you know issues that takes to that place but in this case it's voodoo like sometimes you feel like you know you're ready to go and up and going but then when you do things it's like everything starts fucking up for you in some type of way and that's because voodoo's in here my god like i can't stand people that do voodoo for the bad you feel me like i wish they would all come to me i swear to god like my ancestors do not play with this shit my deity is the most powerful one of all and this shit is ridiculous like i can't stand when voodoo comes in and let me tell you something it's gonna take you down i already took you down You're trying to um, move fast. You're trying to um, do things fast, but you don't have energy to get up for some of these Sagittarius. You don't have energy to get up. You don't feel like doing anything. It's like, whatever. You feel me? It's like an energy of like, you know what? Let's do this now. Nah, I'm good. So whatever. It's like you don't feel like doing anything. It's really that's involved here. That's why you're not getting up. For some of you, Sag, it's not going to hit every Sag. And for this person that these sides here that are having this problem here in this home commitment relationship whatever the fuck it might have been the past it could be the present i feel like somebody here you know was in a juggling situation i'm sorry but this is what i'm picking up what else for sagittarius what else i mean What else for that there it is. Listen, abundance. There's problem here with money. Okay? There's problems here with money in your home, money with you, money period. Like money's going down. Everything is going down. Like this is so fucked up. I don't like these readings. But Y'all should see the readings I do personally. Like, shit comes out that, does, that don't even come out on tarot. You feel me? Like, I'm used to this. But it just gets me really upset because you don't do voodoo to nobody. You don't do bad things to nobody. You don't try to fuck up somebody's life like this. You feel me? Like, people have free will. You feel me? And people take advantage of the things that they're capable of doing and do it to hurt others just for no reason. And I feel like this is just somebody for no reason. And I feel like it's somebody that you were with before. That you left. That saw you moving forward. That saw you being happy. And this person just went to somebody that knows what they're doing. And just put something on you to fuck you up. Not even to get you back, to fuck you up. You're trying every which way, you know, to move to abundance. To build in your home. And to, um, you know, stabilize your home or whatever it was. And it's not working. Every time you try to come in and do something, every time you, you try to do something, it just pauses. It's just stops. Something always gets in the way, you feel me? And that's what it is. It's fucking brutal. Wow. People are so stupid. Like, people are so ridiculous. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, a Sagitt um, I'm sorry, a Capricorn. I I'm sorry. Maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know why I said that. Um, a Scorpio. You could be dealing with um another Sagittarius, a Cancer. Um, another Cancer. You could be dealing with um a Pisces, an Earth. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, you know. This is crazy. Like, I can't stand readings like this. There's so much fear and anxiety here. So much vivid dreams. You're waking up in night sweats. You're waking up in a pool of sweats. Is what I'm seeing here. And you don't understand what's happening to you. You're waking up in the middle of the night scared. And for some reason, then you get angry. 
like in a pool of sweat, waking up sweating, and when you look at your bed, it's all sweaty, like a pool. That's all this food that's going around. Doesn't make no sense. You know, you could be dealing also with a um, Taurus with this earth energy going on here. Um, show me this person and why are you doing this? Me neither. Show me this person. Or, what is this person's intention? Is the person that you, these Sagittarius, just fell out with? What is this person's intention? tell you there's some fuck shit going on here of voodoo i ain't even lying to you like it's not even about the cards it's the way that my ancestor you know it's the way that i pick it up you feel me i'm a medium i'm a psychic so you know tarot for me is nothing you feel me i work with other things that are stronger than this you feel me and it's just the way that she's telling me there's so much voodoo here like Look at all that fire around that one. Look at that dragon looking like a demon. Look at all the fire and smoke around it to destroy you completely. Like there's some fuck shit. Listen, whoever here, and I feel like it's somebody that you know. I feel like it's an ex. Or something fucking with you because I feel like you left somebody here that was very toxic and didn't serve you anymore. And this person just doesn't even want to go back with you. And because they know you won't go back with them. But they came in to just fuck you up and do voodoo to you. Like to fuck up your whole life. Because they know they lost you. You feel me? You, you know, you feel me? So this person came in to fuck you up. So for those Sagittarius that are having problems at home and with your person and you don't understand what's happening, it's because there's food thrown. For the other Sagittarius that I'm picking up, that you had a follow with somebody, your home, you know, there's chaos going on in your home and you're praying for the situation or whatever it is and this person's thinking so much like you're overthinking things. It may it might be a whole different other story. You feel me? Like this person got caught in something. Somebody here got caught in something. I feel like colors came out and you got you got fed up and you got the fuck out of there but there's some Sagittarius here that got boot on them I'm sorry let me see what else what is this person's next intentions on Sagittarius Capricorn energy the devil dark thoughts addictions a lot of dark shadow work detachment from the world itself this person that did this, did this to you was a person that was very toxic, a person that had a lot of addictions. It could have been drugs, drinking. It could have been any addictions, porn. It could have been addicted to anything else but you. You feel me? And, you know, you left this person. You feel me? They're doing a lot of shadow work for some reason. A lot of dark dots here. Those dark dots are what they're doing to you. I feel like they're holding something that you gave them. And I feel like they're doing something with that. Because you could do voodoo any type of way. But I feel like they gave something to somebody that you gave them. A piece of gold or something. With a little arrow. I see a little arrow for some reason. I feel like this person gave something to somebody to do that voodoo on you. Because you could do voodoo any type of way. You could do it with a name. You could do it with a picture. You could do it with a piece of clothing. 
You could do it with an item. You could do it with a person's item. You can get, somebody gave you something, you could do it with that. You could even do it with nothing. You feel me? You could just put the person's, you know, you could put a spirit to work and just mention the person's name and it goes down. But I feel like there was a little arrow or a sword or something. A piece of gold that has something on it. I don't know. It's weird. Like a locket maybe. Or a key is what I'm seeing. It's kind of weird. I feel like they gave it to this person. This person you were dealing with in the past was very, very dark. Very dark. Put you through a lot of shit. There was so much commotion and fighting and so much craziness. And they drained you for money. All they would do was ask for money. And ask for money. And all that money that they asked for, some of it went into that voodoo. I ain't even gonna lie, my ancestor is seeing in the back. Ese dinero, tanto dinero que le dieron, usaron mucho dinero en, en brujería. I'm so sorry for this reading, but, you know, people say, oh no, because don't mention that shit. No, bitch, I'm gonna mention that shit because people need to hear what the fuck is going on with them, you feel me? Like, you just, you know, yeah, I focus on love, but I focus on other general things. My ancestor, whatever they want to put out there, and my, you know, my Didi, they put it out there. And some people need to hear what the fuck is going on because sometimes people are going through shit and they're all confused and going crazy because they don't know what's going on with them and they don't even know what fucking voodoo is, but they know what it is and they don't even know they have voodoo, you feel me? So it's not nobody in my channel that said that, but some people is like, you, you know, like, you're going to go in like that and say everything? Yes, bitch, I'm going to go in there like that and say like that. My answer is going to put everything out there for people that need to know this. Because they need help. That's my grandson, damn. Yeah, like, people need help, you feel me? So, it is what it is. And I feel that like this person and you, when you were together, it was... It was like... Yeah, I couldn't disconnect from each other for a very long time until, the, you know, it was over. And I'm talking to the ones that have voodoo done here. It was like you were together at the end just to be together until you got detached. And this person was very toxic, you know? This person, my God. Like, what the fuck? I hate these readings. This person has even fucked with your abundance. Like, this spirit that came in fucked with everything. And this is not for all sages, okay? So don't think that when you hear this video... You're going to say, well, that's not happening to me. No, that's because it's not for you. You feel me? It's for somebody, it's for somebody else. Okay? It could be sad or cross watcher. It could be a third party. It could be sad as person. You feel me? It doesn't have to be for everybody. But some sad is here with an other energy are going through a heartbreak, are going through some shit. They give up on this person. They don't want to be with this person. This person's true colors came out. You feel me? And something's going to be a gathering or something. You're going to find out more information about this person, Sagittarius, because you're looking for it. You feel me? For the most part, I said the signs already. You know, you could be dealing with the Aries too or a Capricorn. Let me see. Is there any advice here for, um, for Sagittarius? Any advice here? Wanting to go to somebody's house and just cleanse everybody's home down. You feel me? Like, it's just things that I do, you know. I might just start doing classes of how to remove wood, but it's hard because you have to have cauldrons. You have to have, you know, special things in your home, like, you know, to work with. You feel me? But I have protection bags. You know, down below, if you go to my description box, I have the Shopify there. I have perfect. Oh, God, protection bots, but they don't protect you from full-blown voodoo. When you take voodoo off and you are clean, and that protects you from all this shit, this fuckery coming in, you feel me? It says imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. You gotta get up. You gotta believe in other possibilities. You gotta get up into something. You just can't be drained down all day long. You know, filled up with burdens and putting more burdens on your back because this person 
put burdens on you, you feel me? And I'm talking to the ones that, you know, how to fall out here and they're going through it. You feel me? Look for something new to do. You feel me? You might meet somebody along the way. Okay? Put your dreams to reality. Possibilities can happen. Okay? I don't know if you're going to go back with this person or if you do want to go back with this person, but I feel like you don't. You feel me? This is awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. I cannot make this shit up. Look for guidance that could bring you back to the light. You see how the light is coming out at you, Corn? Look for guidance. Look for people that know, you know, what they're doing to remove this voodoo. Look for guidance. You might know people that are trying to guide you and you're not listening. Okay? Look for signs. Like I said, if you're feeling all this crazy shit happening to you, you already know what it is. You feel me? Like, I don't even want to pull one of these cards out. Is there anything here for the terrorists? Is there anything here for Sagittarius? She's telling me no. Is there any overall message here for Sagittarius for this reading? For these um couples that broke up that are going through it. Is there anything message here? It says here, true love this is a romance of a lifetime. So you might have had, you know, a really good romance with this person and you were super in love with this person. They were in love with you and it just fell out. You feel me? Like, you probably still love this person. That's why you worried so much. You know? Try to fix this. I don't know what happened here. I mean, I feel like somebody, two colors came out, but it could be any colors. You feel me? But there's true love here. You know, this whoever you were with, you guys were in love. At some point, it was a romance of a lifetime. You thought you were going to be together for the rest of your life. You feel me? Shit happens along the way, you know? It says, your love life is being affected by children. So, whoever had issues here might have issues as they were a child. You know? And, um, because children do not affect. Because I don't know if they confuse that here. Children do not affect relationships, you feel me? But... There might be somebody here that doesn't want to see their child or is, you know, getting it with their child or anything, you know, just because y'all yeah, broke up. You feel me is what I'm picking up. They might be using your child against you and that's wrong. You don't do that. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. Make the effort. Get up. Move on. Whoever here had a follow up, move on. You know? It's worth taking other steps, you feel me? Guide yourself somewhere else and get out of this energy and stop overthinking and being, putting more burdens in your back than what this person put on you, you feel me? Let me see what this person wants to say. It could be a past person, it could be a present person, it could be even a future person. What does this person want to tell What else? What else? What else? It says, I don't know how I feel anymore. So this might be for these Sagittarius that um had a fallout with your person. I'm a better person because of you. So this person that Sagittarius here had a fallout with, that might be just, you know, getting divorced or whatever the case may be, like, you made this person a better person, you feel me? And they just took it for granted is what I'm picking up. 
our connection still affects me. This person's going through it without you. But you know what? If they fucked up, they fucked up. It is what it is. You feel me? I can't say nothing about that. I'm not the same person that you remember. So yeah, they're not the same person that you remember because, you know, whatever situation happened here, you know, they changed for some reason or the other and they're not the same person anymore. You feel me? Just take it how it hits you. And you put out the babies. This could be your first, middle or last. For the new people here, this is my spirit babies, my spirit dice. It could be your first middle last initials, the person's first middle last initial, or even a nickname, okay? Even this fucking motherfucker. I don't know. Bitch. Or nigga that put a voodoo spell, but I feel, I feel like it was a bitch. I'll do, those, I'll do those at the end. Let me just... Let me just do your initials right now or this person's initials you're going to go with they told me to stop it says you got a p you got an r you got a v you got an o you got a g you got a Q. Let me pull out two more. You got another R. And you got another O. So that's very significant here. So this R and this O. Let me flip this O and let me flip this R and see if we can get more initials here. You got an A. And you got an S. Okay. Let me see. Let me put some initials. For this person that's doing this voodoo that you might even think or suspect. Let's see. What is this person doing voodoo? Give me an initial. Minera, give me an initial, Chum, please. It could be first, middle, last initial, or even a nickname. Give me initials for this person doing voodoo and Sagittarius. Take them all out. You got an N. You got an E. You got an A. You got another A. You got a V. You got an N. You could even turn it into a Z. Because spiritual dice's ends are also Z's. You got a T. And you got a U. You got two A's. I'm going to flip another A to see what comes out. An R. R is very significant around here. So, Sagittarius, I'm sorry about this reading, but it is what it is. It's the truth. You feel me? Like, I don't sugarcoat shit on my channel. You feel me? I bring out what my ancestors and my um, deities put on the table, okay? So, I'm going to wish you the best of luck, okay? And, um, you know, get out. Whoever here had a breakup and everything and is stuck in their head overthinking things, just get out and start doing things. And leave it alone. And for those that are, you know, that this is going on and you know it, you feel it. Like, find somebody to help you, okay? So I'm going to wish you the best of luck, okay? I'll see you later, my loves.